Okay, thank you. How long to know? How long to know? What's the uh, about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Well, Be you. safe. All right, well, I just had a virus test. Tomorrow I will know the first test. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Matt. Um, I'm going to record daily videos while I'm in quarantine here in uh, Ningbo, China. If this is your first... Uh, oh, hold on. Hello? How you doing, Stinger Doo? What are you doing? What are you dancing? <gasps> Holy moly. What'd you say? I'm sorry, what'd you say yesterday you got what? Twelve missing calls from from my ID police station, you know. Register. Everybody asking the same question. I don't think you get to the phone call, right? Because I didn't get it. I didn't get any calls, yeah. I'm afraid sometimes you don't pick the phone, so I put all my phone call number. Hmm. <laughs> So they they found our bag, but they're in Hong Kong, and they're going to deliver it to the new apartment, right? No, I send you the address. Who gonna receive it? I send it to the Jin Su Shui, our 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 room, because okay. I want the, them to deliver it there, and sister can dispose of it and don't carry it to their apartment. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say. Yeah. Later. Bye bye, Jayo. Silly. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. So, anyways, um, we uh, found our lost baggage. If you guys watched the last episode, we lost one bag uh, when we arrived to uh, Shanghai. We found out it was our biggest bag and uh, had all of our daughter's stuff in it and uh, some really nice jackets that we just bought. Anyways, they tracked it down to, sh to Hong Kong where we had a 20 hour layover. All of our other bags, uh, f four of five of them did come through, so that's good news. When we arrived to Ningbo last early morning, yesterday early morning, so this is probably day two, we had to split up. So Annie and Eva went into one room, they're on the eighth floor, on the other side of the building and I'm on the 12th floor. The rules are such that they separated adults and if you had a, ch a child, the child could only stay with one of them. Uh, we sort of knew that might be coming but we weren't 100% sure. Uh, unfortunately, that happened. The hotel we're staying at is 300 RMB per day. What is that? Uh, 300 RMB. 300 RMB is uh, $42 a day and we have to pay that. It's kind of a new rule. Uh, if we would have come in before the 13th, today is the 20th, that we wouldn't have had to pay. The government would have paid for it. But there was probably too many people quarantining and uh, they, they footed the bill to us. If you wanted to have food delivered, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you would have to pay 70 yuan a day, which is about $9, $10 a day. This would have given you Chinese breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sort of boiled egg, maybe, joe, which is like rice pudding. Uh, or rice oatmeal, you'd say. If you wanted Western meal, it would have been 130 yuan or $18.39 uh, a, a, a day. And that would have given you breakfast, lunch, and dinner that were more associated with Western taste. I've chose uh, to do neither of those and uh, I'm getting food delivered to my house from my wife's family who is cooking or from online ordering. You can do that. You can order all sorts of stuff. I'll give you a tour of my life here in a second just kind of bring you up to par on some status updates they're on that side of the building which sees all the sun during the day i am on this side of the building which sees none of it as a matter of fact if you look out my window you can see that sh that's the shadow of our next building our building shadow is this one right here and all of these facing buildings that are this way are getting all of the light from basically the whole day as the sun kind of rises and sets, they get pretty much all the light. I'm getting no light. 
Actually, I get a really nice diffused light from the uh, from the from the reflection of the light on these buildings. For video, it's perfect. For staying warm, it's shit. Because uh, this uh, place, which is a repurposed hotel, I think the government leased it. They bought it for the quarantine only. It's like a quarantine hotel right now. But it is a New Century hotel. New Century is like uh, Holiday Inn or, you know, uh, this is type of branded hotel. And uh, they, they just sort of took it over and said, we're going to use it for quarantine. So a whole bunch of interesting processes here. I'll go into detail on each process uh, as, as the day progresses. I'll just kind of give a bit of a highlight for, for different things. But uh, yeah, we have a shared uh, HVAC system, you know, um, no heat, no cold, no fan, because what you're doing is you're sharing air throughout the building and they don't want that. I like myself some sun and I like myself some heat and I got none of it, but it is what it is. Um, I had my first, um, Temperature, I had my first fever check today. They came and swabbed the back of my throat. It was not very uncomfortable. Didn't even gag or ah, at all, which I've heard that there is some of that. If, uh, if, if you do have like some sort of reaction, sometimes they jam it really far down your throat. The lady that did it was in full hazmat gear. Um, and uh, she swabbed me twice, put them in different uh, vials and left. I'm waiting 24 hours. They said that we should know tomorrow based on how this first test goes. But this first test is just the first of many tests. They're not going to um, let us go if this test is negative. We're just going to be continually tested and make sure that we have 14 days full of, uh, full of positive, positive negative tests. <laughs> Positive in uh, the, 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 it's positively negative. The hotel I'm staying at is not the hotel that Chinese people should be staying at. Chinese people should be staying at a hotel quite a distance from here that is lower quality. The foreigners are being put up here like as a, uh, a PR stunt, but I don't mind it. I'll take it. Annie and Eva were supposed to be put on to a whole different hotel and be separated from me. And so we put our foot down and we argued a little bit and we were able to get some negotiation room on that and they let us stay in the same hotel together. Although I can't see them, at least Annie and Eva have a better hotel situation. I'm not 100% sure what the other hotel looks like for Chinese only, but I imagine that it's probably a lower grade than we're staying at right now. So that's about it. I've been sitting in my bed uh, working on the computer and watching the TV show by Sci-Fi, The Expanse. It's a, it's a series I've had on my computer for a long time, never had time to watch it. So I, I was tired last night and I just binge watched it until I went to sleep at like four in the morning. My, my clock is still a mess from, from the jet lag, but not so bad. I think today actually it's, uh, what time is it? It's 2.43, I think I can make it till tonight and then fall asleep tonight and maybe uh, have, a, have a clear uh, full regular day tomorrow, which is almost record time. I mean, we arrived from America just two days ago, and things are already starting to more than two days ago. Mm -hmm. the, the process of flying was like two days, but uh, more than two days. But uh, yeah, so there have been a lot of moving, and maybe that has helped me reorient my clock because it was so chaotic. I, I, I got off of America time right away, and I got onto travel time which was just ricocheting from one side to the other to like sleeping when we can and taking naps and blah, blah, blah. And it was so chaotic that I think it shocked my system into, into regularity now because my, it's like shaking, you know, a drink and then it settles. Like you could have like two very distinct layers of sand in a bottle with water and you shake it up and it'll sift down into a uniform color. But if you were to try to like hand mix that sand, Oh, I don't know. That analogy works like shit, doesn't it? But whatever. <laughs> I am where I am right now. I think I'll get into some different things in the future here. I have a lot of topics I could talk about while we're in quarantine, uh, as well as working on videos. I have, uh, the Wi-Fi here sucks. It's really bad. But we have a friend that can give me a Wi-Fi hotspot that's on a uh, 4G network that's unlimited data. So he's going to deliver that today. So we'll be back online with videos if you see this, you know. Um, but let me give you a tour of my hotel room so that uh, you can kind of get an idea of 
what uh, quarantine here in Ningbo is like. So uh, my wife has a Chinese family. They live close. They've been delivering all sorts of things to the house. More food than I could possibly eat. And this is a scallops and noodles. I have a little mini fridge here, which I've stocked with uh, some water. And uh, I have a sushi platter there. Delivered was some uh, coffee that I can drip and uh, some tonic for my gin and tonic. Grown to enjoy gin and tonics. And uh, it's kind of nice to sit back with a drink when you're sitting alone. They don't allow you to do any laundry service. Nothing is allowed out or in other than food and garbage. So I got some laundry detergent. Uh, garbage and groceries, obviously. So I got some laundry detergent to wash my clothes. Some Starbucks in the morning that's delivered, so that's good. I have a kettle here when I arrived and a couple of little bottles of water, but I was able to get a bunch more water and uh, liquids. Uh, there's a lot of USB access and plugs and things, just like a normal hotel room, like this is a re repurposed hotel room, so that's okay. I have my laptop table here where I can edit and do work, but honestly, most of it is done in the bed over there. Uh, we uh, uh, have a room here with twin beds. One of them didn't have any sheets on it, and the other had two sets of sheets, so they put both sheets on the one bed. Uh, they give me a laundry bag, but they don't allow laundry. <laughs> so maybe I can bag it for myself and then transport the bag to the bathroom and then wash it and then use the laundry bag. And I charge myself and I pay myself for, for uh, services rendered. Uh, the TV is uh, functioning and as, as much as it turns on, but it has some QR code thing I haven't figured out yet, and it's annoying, and I got internet, so um, it's slow, but at least right now uh, it's slow, but soon it'll, I'll get the upgrade, but uh, it's, it's all I got, so it's okay. I was able to bring a few of our bags when we flew here from the USA. We had a bunch of clothes and stuff from winter in the USA, and uh, I mean, basically we were traveling, so we have enough to survive, and we had to separate it for Annie, and then separate it for me, but we did that. Uh, there's a little couch area here. I'll probably clean up, probably. Um, sister brought over a bunch of my other warmer clothes, and she brought this, which is a, it's like a really soft set of pajamas for Chinese people. Like, you'll see them walking around town in the wintertime with those. Very, very soft. But they don't fit me for shit. Why don't I try them on? You want me to try them on? <laughs> try them on, they're kind of funny. So uh, I did laundry yesterday. Oh, it's pretty good. It's getting there, almost dry. It's not like I need it anytime soon. I got a big mirror here. The bathroom has has a it's nice. It's a good toilet, good bathroom, hot water, good pressure. Um, but that's about it. There's not not much more. Up here I have some uh, pillows and decorative stuff. I'm using the uh, the twin bed as a as a staging point for stuff. That's about it. That is that is the glorious, that is a glorious tour. Anyways, yeah. So let me uh, let me try on this this Chinese outfit. So this is an XXL set of pajamas, and uh, just to show you what a Chinese XXL is, that's a Chinese XXL. <laughs> it's warm though. And you can see why a Chinese person will wear this at night. I haven't tried on the pants though, so let me try on the pants. I'll save you the uh, joy of seeing my junk. You know, I had some pants when I was uh, dressed up. I dress up like Santa Claus every year in China with a custom, custom made uh, Santa suit. And uh, the pants are designed to work with the boots. You know, Santa wears big black boots. And so the, the billowy pants that I had made by a seamstress were about the same. They're kind of three quarter inch capris. So anyways, these are, wah, wah, wah. If you could feel this, it feels very, very nice. It, it's not so bad looking except for the, uh, the, the, the wrists. Got some pockets. Anyways, I'm sitting in bed here and working and as I, uh, as I work and watch, just the news comes in and it's, you know, just one shocking thing. Argentina's on lockdown. California this. The beaches in uh, Florida are open. People are spring breaking and they're going to sp spring. They're going to spring break. Outbreak is what they're going to spring. They're going to spring outbreak. And I hope those kids understand when, when their grandparents get sick and and need care that, that, that 
isn't available because too many people are sick. They learn their lesson because I think that sadly a lot of lessons are going to be learned. It's kind of like you see the writing on the wall. You want to yell at people, but uh, some people just don't understand. Hopefully, it seems more people are understanding than are not. Maybe in the next episode, I'll talk about why we decided to come back again. I had a few people maybe throwing hate my way for, uh, you left China and now you're running back here. I give you no sympathy. I'm not really asking for sympathy, but I think some people are genuinely thinking I'm doing this out of a desire for views on my videos. I'm, I've always shared my videos. I'm under this circumstance. I might as well share the, 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 the story of this. It's an interesting story to tell. But uh, I think there might be some people that are confused. Anyways, whatever. Hate is going to hate. Uh, but that's the, that's the review for today. I will uh, maybe do one of these every day. This is day one and a half of the, uh, of the uh, quarantine. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> Catch you later.